quarantining and chilling. I hope y'all are practicing your social distancing. So with mask running out, I wanted to try this quick little DIY where you can do a bandana mask, no sewing included at home. I wanna do a little disclaimer. The CDC says that the virus is airborne and you know, I don't, I don't have all my facts straight, but the mask can help a little bit because it is cloth. Ugh, this was the worst place to pause the video. But I just want to say that this can only slow the coronavirus, not stop it. You still have to practice social distancing as well as washing and sanitizing your hands. You can pause this video to look at the guidelines from CDC. So it can help a little bit. It is really quick and easy. It's not going to take you more than like a minute or even like a minute and 30 seconds to sit down and make this mask and all the stuff that you need for this mask you can really just buy at walmart and your total will just be like five dollars if you don't have any mask at home when y'all make this mask please do not get a red or a blue bandana or somebody will get the wrong idea and i don't have time for y'all texting me saying amber your little diy got me in jail or in the wrong neighborhood y'all please do not get a blue or a red bandana if you know what's good for you. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. All right, so for this, all you need is one bandana or any type of small fabric and two elastic headbands that you can find at any local Walmart or any hair store. Mine are already cut in half because I use them for rubber falls, but make sure that when you get them that you cut both of them in half so that you'll be able to tie them around the bandana. All right, so to get started, you wanna go ahead and just lay out your bandana. And what we're gonna do is fold it over four times. Once you are done folding it over, you wanna flip it over to the side that you can see where you last folded your bandana at. All right, so you're gonna take one of the hair ties and you're gonna start tying it around the bandana. You want to tie it enough to where you have it close to the edge, but also far enough to where you leave room for your mouth. You're going to put your finger under the band and you're going to tie two knots on top of your finger. You want to make sure that you have enough room to wrap this around your ear. Now the good thing is you can always come back and adjust this anytime if it's too tight or too loose since you're using a band. And once you're done with that, you wanna go ahead and do it on the same thing on the other side. All right, now here comes the most important part. You're gonna take both ends of the bandana and you're gonna tuck one end into the other end of the bandana. And this is what's really gonna make your vest. And there you have it. You have successfully made your at-home bandana mask. All right, so if y'all did this the right way, you should have a mask that you can put on your face. The little strings that come out from the um, headband, you just easily tuck that in. And just, oops my bandana coming out all right so all you gotta do is just lay it on your face and you have your own little bandana mask you're good to go <laughs> y'all send me pictures of how y'all mask turned out or a comment and let me know because i really want to know how this went for y'all um make sure to subscribe to me and like this video and i will see you guys in the next video bye